Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. So I, uh, hanging out around the house today. Uh, not a lot going on. It's kind of cloudy, rainy, gloomy kind of day outside. Not much work we can do outside today. So we, we just kind of hang out here, do a little laundry, put in a load of laundry, and just kind of hang out and hunker down while it rains outside. Not much going on today. But a question comes in here talking about the small businesses. Uh, you know, they say, well, they make the comment that small businesses are struggling with this coronavirus. You know, they have to put in restrictions and the hand washing and the social distancing and all these safety measures and, and regulations and stuff. To make sure customers are safe in, in their store and everything. Okay, now the corporations are doing this too. Walmart, Target, all these big mega corporations you shop at, you buy items at, they're, they're doing these things too. But now, um, there was once upon a time, uh, it wasn't too awfully long ago. It, it's been several, several years back. But uh, before Walmart opened up its first big mega retail store in your small town, in your city, Walmart wasn't there. But what was there was a lot of these small businesses, small mom and pop owned restaurants, uh, stores where people can buy household items, uh, grocery stores, and there was small... Uh, a lot of these small businesses were dotted all over your town and your city before Walmart moved in. But now once Walmart moved in, hey, all these mom, small mom and pop stores and small businesses, they closed down. They, they shut their doors. They went out of business because they could not, they simply could not compete with Walmart's low prices. Walmart can buy a whole semi truck load of products and sell them at a very low price and still make profits. But now these small mom and pop businesses couldn't could not afford to do such things. You know, Walmart was offering all these services, money services and get your check cashed and, and everything. A one stop shop. You could do everything right there at Walmart. You know? And all the small businesses shut down. Well, the rise of Walmart. Walmart started opening up more stores in more towns and cities. Not only in America, but around the world. There was the rise up of Walmart. Well, now, today, we fast forward to today. Now, what we have going on is uh, the decline of Walmart. The decline. How is Walmart declining, you might ask? Well, we have an internet, the World Wide Web. You can get on that internet and go shop at a place called Amazon or eBay or any of these other selling apps. Macari, Poshmark. There's a whole long list of uh, online stores where you can order and you can find just about anything you're looking to buy. And you can find exactly what you're looking to buy. It's not like going up here to Walmart and say, Well, they only have this stocked on the store shelves. I guess I'll have to settle and buy this. No. See, on Amazon, you can pretty much find exactly what you're looking for. And it's in stock. You don't have to settle with what they just have on, the, on your computer screen there. You can find exactly, precisely, what you're looking to buy and have it shipped to your door. Packaged up. And you can open up that package when it comes in the mail and that's exactly what you ordered. That's exactly what you wanted. Exactly what you needed. And it arrived on time in great condition. Amazon on the rise. Walmart on the decline. 
See, things keep on happening like this. Things keep on evolving. And we're slowly but surely transitioning into a World Wide Web environment. A shopping environment where you go online and order things exactly the way you want them. You don't have to settle for what's on the store shelf up here at Walmart anymore. You can go online and get exactly what you want. Hey, the rise and decline of Walmart. It's been a long journey. And it continues to march forward. Amazon is rising up. Walmart going down. Shalom. Shalom.